Hi, my friend. Sandra from ForYourChi.com, and we're here today to do your weekly collective reading with the tarot cards, and I have the Archangel Michael deck out here to help us, and many of you know what that means. I wish, well, first of all, let me just say, I hope you guys had a great holiday. <laughs> I feel like this week is going to be back to reality, even though we're still in the holidays with this new year. And like I was going to say, I wish that this message could be easier this week. I really do. However, it appears that we are at a crossroads, a fork in the road here with these, these messages, especially for the beginning of the week, which we're going to get into in just a minute. Thank you all for being with me here on YouTube. Um, I'm in the middle of working on, and I'm almost finished with January 2021, and I'm just about finished with my 2021 predictions for the 12 Zodiac. Check them out. They'll be here on YouTube. Some of them contain Vimeo links, but the career readings for everyone is free. And also, I'm doing the uh, January 12 house spreads for free on YouTube as well. Okay, so let's get into this. First of all, there's a backstory. So if you have been watching my videos for some time now, I said back in July that everyone needs to be prepared not to receive another COVID relief package from the government anytime soon. Frankly, I was quite surprised when the benefits were extended in until now. Um, there, I've been contacted by more than one person, pretty much freaking out that they're going to have to pay rent, their unemployment is exhausted, etc., etc. And this reading is echoing that message. So I'm going to reiterate what I said back in July. Do not count on the government at this time. You know, maybe things will change. I hope I'm wrong, but even as I sit here and ask the question, will our government pass another COVID relief package anytime soon? I'm getting a no. So, you know, it's really time now to dig in deep and figure out that plan B, plan C for backups. And if the relief package comes through and I'm wrong, then hallelujah, you know, we can all go back to life as normal until that ends again. But you have to have a plan B and plan C backup. Now, let's get into these cards. First card, solar plexus chakra. This is the panic, fear, trigger, phobia card. Someone or some situation has thrown you into a panic and it's causing a tailspin and perhaps, um, you know, where you can't catch your breath. I can't think of the word. Where you breathe into a paper bag. Hyperventilation. Okay. I believe, so I've talked about fear any number of times on this YouTube channel, in my videos, and on my podcast that's on Inflow Radio. Go to Inflow Radio and type in uh, For Your Chi or just look for it on the main page. I think it's still up there. I did like, I don't know, 10 episodes or something. But go look and listen to my video on fear. If there's one person that has overcome fear in any given situation, you're looking at this girl right here. Even though you are being triggered, and this is a very different, I've never given a message like this when we have this combination with the Oracle. In any other reading, I would pull this card and say, you are being triggered, but there's nothing to fear. There actually is something to fear here. However, in this instance, the fear that you're experiencing is a message for you to come up with a plan. It's time to face your fear here. 
And people say to me all the time, well, they have pre-existing conditions. They can't go back to work. What did Franklin Roosevelt say? The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And if you look back at that podcast, I give you real life examples of how your fear can trigger things that wouldn't ordinarily happen if you weren't afraid. What does that mean? Your fear is attracting more things for you to be afraid of. So what needs to happen here is a total confrontation of this fear. I pulled from the Archangel Michael deck, of course. Whenever I see fear in the tarot, we go to Archangel Michael deck and he figures it out for us. Honor and trust your feelings. So what that tells me is there's something real here that is triggering you and it's time for you to acknowledge it and face it head on. We're not, you know, if some of you are getting evicted, and I said this back in the summertime too, you know, the shit really hasn't hit the fan yet. And that is still the case because of all these programs, these forbearance programs where, you know, they're forgiving your uh, mortgage right now and just tacking it onto the end of the loan or the vehicle payments or whatever the case may be. But at some point, those programs are going to end and we are going to be living in a very different reality than what we have been. So your feelings in this situation are real and trustworthy and they are meant for you to pay attention and develop a plan, whatever the plan may be. But you have to get rid of this fear. This fear is going to lead you down a path of manifestation that nobody wants to be in. Nobody wants to be in a reality where you've planted this seed and then you're going to reap the harvest of this shitty seed that you've sown. It's, you've got to get rid of it somehow. Call on Archangel Michael to cut the cord between your fear and the outcome of anything. That's the first thing that I would do. But in any event, you're going to have to face it. And that might mean going back to work and being in faith that you are protected and well at all times. And taking precautions, of course. Okay, midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, you are getting intuitive messages. This may come in the form of a daydream or a nighttime dream, so pay attention. Keep a pad of paper and a pen by your bed so that you can grab it in a hurry. If you do have a dream, write it down. Now, we immediately go from fear to humor, which is a great way, as rough as that sounds, to change the energy up. So, what I would advise for you uh, Wednesday or Thursday, if you've got nothing in your life to laugh about, to call up some funny videos here on YouTube, or watch your favorite uh, comedy show, something that's going to make you laugh, because we need to change up this energy. Now, once again, I'm going to deliver a very unusual message, one that I've never delivered before in this combination either. We've got Harmony. Now, Harmony was the warm and fuzzy feeling card that we got last week in Christmas. If you celebrated Christmas, I'm sure most of it was very nice if you watched last week's video. However, from the Archangel Michael deck, it's time to unleave this healthy situation. This is a toxic situation. You may have someone coming back to you. Uh, this could be an ex or a primary partnership. It doesn't necessarily have to be, though. This could be a relative that you haven't talked to in a while. This could be a friend of yours that is asking you for some help. But the this person comes to you in a place of taking from you, where it's going to be time 
to cut them out of your life and out of the situation. I think she even has this, if this is a female, she even has a sword in her right hand. I mean, that's pretty obvious. The prayer on the bottom of this card says, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? I feel like that speaks to the message that we received at the beginning of this reading, at the beginning of this uh, week coming up. Thank you for helping me to hear your answers and giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So that is is very relevant to this entire week that we're talking about here and I feel like this also talks about cutting your cutting your fear out of your current situation and out of your current um, life experience okay that was a mouthful <laughs> many blessings to all of you Hang in there. I know it's going to be a rough road for some of you, most of you, but you've got help here. You've got these videos, you've got your family, you've got your friends, for those of you that have that support group, and you've got multiple helpers, guides, spirit guides, angelic helpers on the other side, and relatives and loved ones that have crossed over. Feel free to call on them at any time and be very specific in the help that you're asking for. You would be surprised, as long as you are detached from the outcome, the answers that come to you as a result of your asking. Many blessings to all of you.